Hello all, welcome back to the Java series of the session. Today we will discuss another uh, print pattern. In our last tutorial, tutorial we have discussed how to print a pattern of square and today we will discuss how to print a pattern which looks like a plus symbol. See, uh, this, this is the pattern which we need to print and we will discuss how to do this with the use of for loops in Java. So I'll simplify this in an Excel sheet. Uh, I will print an X here. So this is my requirement. I will simplify this problem. And this is my I loop. I mean my uh, last loop and like outer loop and this is my inner loop. So, i is the outer loop where the number of iteration is 5, it starts from 0 to 4 and inside i there is one more inner loop uh, that is j loop, it starts from 0 to 4 means uh, five, 5 times it will be printing. So, you just simplify here. So, where and all x is printed. So, x is printed whenever i is 2. So, whenever i is 2, x is printed. And also whenever j is to x is printed. So very simple. We just give uh, need to give the if condition inside the loop. Like whenever i is to or j is to just print x. Else it should print a space here. This will give a pattern of square. So and we will do this in uh, Eclipse now. So first I will put my outer loop i loop. I equal to 0, i is less than or equal to 4. So inside the i loop, then I should put the inner loop called j. In j equal to 0, j, sorry, j is less than or equal to 4 and j plus plus then i need to give the so i have uh, uh, have given both the loops here and then after giving the loop i need to give the conditions when it should print x so it should print x whenever i is 2 or j is 2 it should print x so i'm going to give the condition here if condition or j equal to 2 this symbolizes the or condition so when any one of the condition is met it will be printing an x sys out x i'm giving x with a space uh, so when this condition is not met it should print a space So, what will happen is, in the first iteration, it will go and check whether i is equal to 2 or j is equal to 2. Here i is 0, j is also 0. So, it will, so the condition is not met, so it will print a uh, space here. Again, it will go here, 
I is 0 and J is 1. So, it will print a space here. And then here I is 0, J is equal to 2. So, one condition is met. J is equal to 2. So, the if condition is like or condition. So, any one of the condition is met, it should print the X. So, here J is 2, it will print the next. And then in the next iteration, J is 3. So, the condition is not met. Likewise, whenever the condition is not met, it will, it will keep printing the space itself. So, after uh, completing this J, like this uh, for loop is ended. So, after the for loop is ended, it should uh, print it in a new line. So, we will give a, a simple uh, sys out here so that it will come to new line and, and again it will come here and we will keep checking and do the same. So, we will execute this. See, you are able to see the pattern of plus here. Very simple logic. Like, uh, you just need to give an if condition inside the for loop. Whenever the condition is met, I, sh I should print this particular uh, symbol. So, hope you understood the uh, logic and you like this tutorial. Uh, please like and share my uh, videos. And please subscribe uh, to my channel. You will keep... Uh, you will keep getting all the uh, important uh, Java and Selenium questions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, we will meet in the next tutorial with some more uh, patterns. Thank you.